Attacks on U.S. troops in Middle East rise rapidly. U.S. troops were attacked again after the last weekend across the Middle East amid Pentagon fears that Iranian-backed groups may seek to undermine the American presence alongside the Israel-Hamas war, according to the Hill media outlet. The number of attacks has now risen to 38, according to the Defense Department of the U.S., including 20 in Iraq and 18 in Syria. That's up from 32 at the end of last week. Iranian-backed militant groups have launched drone and rocket attacks at U.S. bases, injuring several people but not killing anyone. Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Pat Ryder told reporters the attacks are harassing troops while resulting in 45 injuries of varying degrees. That includes at least 24 service members with traumatic brain injuries and the rest with minor injuries such as shrapnel wounds, rolled ankles or headaches. The rise in the overall number shows U.S. forces were attacked six times over the weekend, indicating militant groups are not backing down. Washington has deployed hundreds of troops, two aircraft carriers and a nuclear-powered submarine to the Middle East to deter any groups from taking advantage of the unrest in the region sparked by Israel's war with Palestinian militant group Hamas. The Biden administration has increasingly warned Iran and other potential aggressors from escalating tensions.